I am alone in this world, and this world doesn't run along to me. Ever felt like that? Ever felt like you were alone? It's just the widow at zero five. It's almost like it, in the word widow goes from woman, it goes from, we got a woman like the wife, the queen. We go that direction, right? Whatever. But what happens when I become a woman, become a wife, and then instead of me going to queen, stack I run back down to uh, not even woman status, but widow. I started to track out to woman, became a wife, never became a queen. And as a result of a life and its changes, I went to woman, wife, widow. to say no before he says yes. Not woman, but with no. Not yes, but no. It sounds like a no comes with it automatically. Uh, will you ever be healed? No. Will you ever be fixed? No. Are you a widow? Yes. The right and I'm like, there's a barren nest to the word widow. There's a, there's a, there's a barren sound to it. Uh, no matter how you look at it, there's an emptiness, there's a feeling, a, a continentation that comes with it. Uh, there's no way you can say woman and widow with the same fervor. There's a little bit more promise that comes with woman. Why? Because we could travel on up that line a little bit easier than we could if we were widow. I hate a state of barrenness. There's a, a state of barrenness in a spot that I cannot feel, fix, or <laughs> oh, pray. See, the problem God is saying is that some, some of us have issues, and that instead of coming to Him about it and asking Him to change our shoes, we ask Him to teach us how to pray over them. We want to pray over the issues instead of a walk through them. See, the Charlie Church was a uh, walkers in the way. They were not walkers in it, walkers in the poop of it, walkers in the stench of it. They were walkers in the way, not getting in my way. They were in the way when Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. Uh, I'm okay with being a walker in that, except I can't, cause I've already moved on forward to it. They're in a way, join me, please. Stop seeing A and walk in the victory. Try to try it uh, and see if you like it. You won't go back. They say, once you go back, you never go back. I tell you, once you go victorious, uh, you never go back. Once you go, I've got better than I had before. You never go back. Once you go, I get, I get, I think, I get joy when I think about. You never go back. Once you get that, I, 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 love me. I never go back. Once I go with those old hymns, uh, bless and assurance. I never go back with my Jesus is mine. I never go back. You go back on God once you've gotten him. Paul said it. No to the widows in the stair state of mind. Everybody, I think you're a backtrack, backslider. You are a widow in your mind. You done lost all your mind. Well, you know black back or back by me? Side back. Pick it up, side back. Side back, meaning I still turn around. You want to give a pretty sound to the word of backslide. You cannot do it. Once you start backsliding, you don't turn around. You are still looking forward, looking unto Jesus, the author and the uh, finisher of our faith, right? Who was uh, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross. So he was always uh, enduring the cross uh, and dealing with it. And when you look unto Jesus as a backslider, you start sliding back off of him and it. And you call it, oh no, I'm God. I forgot it. You chose. You were. You got a selective amnesia. That's what it all. That's what it is. You choose what you remember, and you choose what you forget. You chose to forget God. There is no backsliding, right, brother? Because I did not turn around. That means I repented that I received Jesus, and I want to unreceive Him, brother. Because even a uh, somebody that turns around and gives up on God, I got more respect for them, right? Because they are they are cold, not hot for the Word of God. See, see, see. They become cold, not hot. God said for the way of the sea, and I'd rather you be cold nor hot because you're lukewarm. People are backsliding, means they are sliding back, uh, keeping their eyes on God, making sure I don't want to miss the rapture, but I'm just going to slide back a little bit off of it. You sliding back, you backslide, duh. But you, you think that that's going to be okay with God. You get a worse punishment. Why? Because instead of you saying no and never accepting him or saying yes and accepting him, he would rather you have said no completely and walk away from him than to learn all that you've learned, get all that you've gotten, walk by grace, receive salvation by grace, through faith alone, right? But instead of you receive the gift of God, instead of you learn about him, you've now learned about who I am, you learn about my book, 
and what it's going to be about. I've got this best seller on our times. New York Times bestsellers list. Uh, I don't know how many years I got this best seller. You'll learn about what my book is about instead of you wanting to be a part of the book. You uh, turn around, you look, and you don't even turn the love away. What you do is uh, you slide backwards. You know what you look like a snake. Slithering along the way, there's no such thing as backsliding. That's the name that Christians, Christians, not Christians, give to it. When they want to be a serpent, when they want to be a serpent and give apples, offer apples instead of, oh God, helping people pray about it, the temptations, the desires that have hit their life. When they want to start hurting the body of Christ, then they pick up backsliding. Oh, I just backslid. Funny thing is, funny thing is, because we jumped right back into ministry and I've seen it. You were a minister, you backslid, and you jumped back into ministry once you had that baby, right? And you, you got rid of it. You come back and you're a full-fledged minister. How do you do that? How do you meet me at the altar when you told me in your backslid state to eat the apple instead of eating more of God? Eat the apple instead of like, eating the word of God. Do you forget that you gave me bad advice while you did it? How do you, how do you uh, backslide and then uh, how are you okay with it? Like a call it backslidden state. I, I was in a backslidden state. We come up with these efficacious, uh, epoch and epically designed phrases. We come up with the Philippian terms. I want to meet the moments in my words. I don't want to meet them at their cross, but I want to meet them in my terms of, of pathologies. I want to study what the Romans are saying. I don't want to, I don't want to. I don't pick up the word of God and do anything. I don't want to read the word of God. I want to read the Bible. I want to, I want to, I want to taste the communion cup. I, and I, 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 I want to see it before I taste it. I want to expect that, look at it from all angles. And then I can drink ye thereof. I, 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 want, I want to get what God has for me. And then I'll talk to him about setting me free. I don't know what freedom looks like. So I don't know if I want to taste and see that the Lord is good. I don't know if I can call you good God. Because I don't know what freedom looks like with you. I don't know how to, I don't know. I don't know. I'll be a widow. And widows, oh God. The biggest issue is that the security is shaking. Has your security been shaken? Have you been shaken? Have, are you shaken? In this season, are you shaken? Do you have God like you should? Did that? Here's the thing. The little as zero fat she had. Three of those things. I said, well, God, one of those things wasn't so bad. He said, well, what makes you say that? Wasn't so bad. God, whatever. What if y'all trying to follow all the people in the Bible? But what if they are a cautionary tale to tell you what not to do instead of what to do? If you have the gift of dreaming, for example, don't handle it like like Joseph did. Don't, 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 don't have dreams. Tell your family about it. He was a kid, right? So they put him in slavery. He should have learned to keep his mouth shut. So God told him to say something. Just because God reveals something to you does not mean he needs for you to say something right then and there. You pray about using the gift, and you pray about when you should release it. God don't always want you to talk. Either way, sometimes he wants to release something to you so you can have a conversation with him. And have prior knowledge before he does something. Because I don't know that God's a vision for them or is always to be in 400 years of slavery. That was Joseph's vision. If you have to get the dreaming, it might just be that God is saying, don't do this very thing. You know what that very thing is? Don't speak to the Egyptians, right, that come into the jail and seek out their benefit over God, right? Don't talk to them and ask them to send words to Pharaoh and stop praying to God altogether. Don't leave God in the, in the, in the shadows to pick up the Egyptians and walk with them. Don't do it. I gave you the gift. Now you're using Pharaoh's uh, uh, money and serving him with it. You got Pharaoh's ring with the gift that I gave you. I did not tell you to marry the Pharaoh. I told you uh, that you were a deliverer. Who did he deliver being in Egypt? See, did he, did he, did he, did he, he fulfilled the vision. But who did, he, who did he deliver? He delivered some people. Who did he deliver? Oh, I delivered. Praise the Lord. I, I delivered. Praise the Lord. I was bound by the power of Satan, but I'm delivered. Praise the Lord. I'm delivered. I'm delivered. Praise the Lord. Right? I delivered. Who did he deliver? Was that he delivered nobody? No, he delivered some people. But, uh, what's the picture of delivery? God said it to me the other day. He said, yes, sir, you are a deliverer. That's why it always hurts when you tell people things. And they look at you like you're crazy. And then they go through something. You stand there looking at them in their face. Uh, I just told you this six months ago. And you look at me like I was crazy. And then they don't recognize it. They recognize it. They just don't want to admit it. 
Cause it's back to sliding The entire time You said it And it started sliding That or That someone God tells me so or that, that somebody's going through something Or that somebody's dealing with something I don't immediately so Why? God said God If they don't recognize it They're only going to blame me They're going to blame me For what they're going through Even though they are the ones That, that got themselves into the situation You are telling them You are allowing the situation Because of what they have done And so that they need to repent And come back to you And all they're going to do Is look at me Like I'm the one that sinned I know not have the reason I'm not that and I'm I'm still in a, 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 skin, a sin skin that I'm in. I'm trying to live this thing out the way that I'm supposed to. Why would I take a unwanted news? Oh, I'll take my oil, right? That's my anointed oil that God has used my gift. I'm going to take my oil to you. I know, why would I put my oil right for you inside of a coop? <laughs> you guys are going to take that spot, right? I said that God says to you that you handle your gift like Pharaoh gave it to you. He, Joseph stopped praying once he got the gift. And God said it to me. He said that's a picture of delivery. He said that he delivered. First of all, he delivered himself, right? Because he delivered. We just because you get delivered. It does not mean that you are delivered by God. So some people, first of all, I want to be very careful in how I say this. I don't like giving people words because I don't want them to feel like that I'm the one that's blessing them. When they are blessed, when God say you blessed, I'll say you blessed. When God say curse, I'll say you curse. You ain't got no hold on me. I could care less. Nobody don't like me anyway. God said, God said you, you curse. Stop acting stupid. You curse. Stop acting stupid. Repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Done. I'm surprised God ain't take his natural uh, fingers on his godly hand and slap you in your face with it. But that, that's just Jamie out of flavor. Too thick. But uh, <laughs> you disrespectful to God. You tell him, hey, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If the word comes forth like a cape with the hair pod and uh, uh, a hair pod that was uh, sleeping with his brother Philip's wife and he was supposed to be. Uh, if, it, if it comes forth like it comes forth like that, I'm going to tell you God tells it to me to tell you. And if not, so be it. So be it. In Jesus' name. Right. Because delivery goes two ways, doesn't it? Three ways. Oh. Well, he told me the other day when I was at my other place, I was living there, he said, Jackie, he said, just because people are delivered does not mean they are delivered by me or for me. Some people are still looking for the line, the side of line, the sign on that says for whom oh, the sun sets free, it's free and they cannot find the fit. <laughs> And then there are others that are not looking for it anyway. Some people are granted freedom, but they don't want it. Just because I don't know what freedom looks like, I will pass on it. I don't want to see freedom because I don't know what it looks like to, 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 to you, for me to be free. I, I've wondered about it too. How would that look? How, do I, how would I look free to people? How would they see me? How would they visualize me? Who cares? These are the same people. I ain't worried about people's jerseys. Those are definitely same people that lock me up in a state of a non-free dumb. They are just as dumb as ever and got no more wisdom. As a result of what they've been through So why would you, why would you look at your family And judge your state of freedom by it Whether I want to take you higher or break you down into it and I, If God takes me into Hades and drag me through it For a wilderness I still beg God the yes But nevertheless yes Not my will but thy will be done And if I can't find a reason why I should be looking I should be looking to please or impress you The likes of 